Okay. Okay. So I, I think. I mean, so what I've been doing so it could is coordinating be. leading, but actually I'm probably, if I was to redesign it, I'd say, well, actually, you, you need to focus on actually working everyone together. And I think that's probably a, a, a function of the, the way, the way firms often structure themselves. You end up with audit partners who've got a lot of Doing other roles rather than actually thinking, she loves me. All right, let's go through it then and tell me a different colour pen. I want you to tell me what percentage of your time <clears throat> you spend on these things. So, if we start with, the, let, let's say, the day job, which is the, the, the portfolio, yeah. how much time is done on that? 70%. Okay. And how much time do you need on the, do you spend on the sort of leading the insurance sector, the audit, the audit the insurance sector, the man of staff management? Um, 15%. Okay. I'd probably put it up my other percent actually. Yeah. Seventy-five percent. Seventy-five, eighty. Going up. Yeah. Okay. And then actually, the international will yeah. end up being sort of maximum five percent. Five percent. Three percent. Two percent. And what about the you know leading? Um, insurance across all the other sectors and services, the 150 people? Uh, probably about 5%. Five percent like yeah, you get a bit too much. So 70, yeah, yeah. no, sorry, 80, 95. Yeah, okay. But I get the picture. Yeah. Okay. But it probably shows that actually, it's the problem, isn't it, really? Yeah, it is really, isn't it? Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, all right, so if you could only do one bit of it, what would you do? Probably start off with the international. Because <laughs> I think that's, the, that's really where the opportunity yeah, is. Exactly. It's building, building bridges. And so why do you still have to do this? Because I've got a large portfolio. Um, we don't, we probably need to have more partners so you can do that stuff. Um, I, I, I suppose I do, I do enjoy a lot of my client work, mm -hmm. but it, it, unfortunately the, the regulation environment is sort of killing the, no, no. Ki killing the fun of it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. So really, this is what you went into it to do and that's your bread and butter, but yeah. actually nowadays all that does is cause you volatility and high stress. Yeah, it's, I suppose for me, I, I enjoy the client interaction. I quite enjoy getting to know businesses and how they're doing, how they're succeeding, and all these other things. Yeah. Um, but it's. I think it's the. Yeah. It's probably when it gets too much because of the regulatory volatility. Mm -hmm. But not because of that. I can't just blame that. But when it gets too much, well, it's, it's too much. Well, it's too much anyway, isn't it? And if your teams don't aren't able to, able to perform. It's but then I suppose if you're only, just to play devil's advocate, dedicating 15% of your time to thinking about how your teams function. Yeah. Then it's it maybe yeah. that you're not getting the most out of yeah. the people you've got. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I don't know. No, it's interesting. It, it is interesting because I've often seen... I think as far as for look at other partners when they've done that in the past, a lot have spent less time. That's not a good thing, is it? Spent less time. Yeah. They're doing what? It's, it's, it is interesting because all the partners are kind of expected to have big portfolios mm. to, to deliver a lot. It's 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 a slightly sort of older idea, isn't it? I was talking about it with one of your colleagues just now, actually, and. Um, talking about how much more forward thinking and progressive the firm would be if actually you were allowed to 
if, if people like you were allowed to just maintain a small yeah. portfolio that keeps you ticking over because yeah. it's, it's a bit like being a you know it's a bit like being a doctor you know you, you have to do a bit to keep your hand in yeah but like a three million pound portfolio is like yeah so yeah. so okay so what what would you like this to look like I, I suppose, in some ways, that what I'd like to... I mean, I, I, I sort of did... I led an international call this morning. And actually, it's, it's really good. It's mm -hmm. great, building mm -hmm. bridges with mm. other bits of the world. I, I would love to have a position where I was mainly doing the international stuff. Yeah. Um, doing probably one or two clients. Yes, yeah, that would be fine. And um, in some ways, as you say, to keep your hand in. Yeah. And also, you know, just statistically, you're less likely to get the FRC coming after you if you've only got one to two clients, as, yeah. as if you've got, you know, yeah. I mean, it's just like doctors, you know, GMC yeah. comes after you if you're much more likely to get a GMC investigation if you've got 300 patients. Yeah. So, yeah. so what um, appetite is there within the firm for you to do something different? I've never asked. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, and I, I don't know. I think I get the impression I know, uh, that, that there's more of an appetite for people to people want to see them delivering a lot of stuff. Mm. But that could be my preconception. Delivering a lot of stuff, as in a, a, a leading portfolios and leading portfolios and all that stuff. Well, yeah, but but, but then that is a that, that is slight preconception. But you're like, you know, sorry, I'm sorry to use the medicine analogy, but of course it's, it's, yeah. it's my world. You know, you're like, you're like running the hospital, right? Yeah. If insurance is the hospital. Yeah. But as well as that, you're doing eight clinics a week. Yeah. Now, when we have people run the hospital, they yeah. do one clinic a month. Yeah. Do you see what yeah. I mean? Because we say, look, you've got to keep your hand in as a cardiologist, otherwise no one will, you have no credibility. You can't yeah. be involved in all this insurance all this stuff yeah. if you're not doing a yeah. bit yourself. Yeah. But we would give you one clinic a month, one, yeah. one half day a month. Yeah. And what you're doing is eight clinics a week and then you're, it's robbing you of the yeah. opportunity to develop these yeah. things, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And I suppose the difficulty is how would you ever build a business case for doing something different if you could only spend 2% of your time yeah. on the international? Hmm. It's very... And I think what the, the problem within the firm, the network, is that actually on an international basis, the firm doesn't have international people. Mm -hmm. So there's not really a role for someone to have a lot of their employment paid for by the firm mm -hmm. to do the international role which I think is quite a which is which is a weakness within the, how the network is structured mm -hmm. um, well let's rephrase it yeah and say that the firm doesn't have an international role yet yeah exactly yeah no, I think that's good yeah 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 and maybe that's because they haven't fully understood the potential that such a role could bring. Yeah, I think it's I think it's slightly a lot of I think the difficulty with some accounting firms is they're still dealt with as individual partnerships. Mm -hmm. So each individual partner sort of expected to has got to be paid for by one of the partnerships yeah. who want to get value. Yeah. Rather than actually a, yeah, a, a big corporate who mm -hmm. says, "Right, we're going to invest yeah. in, in Vietnam, so we'll send in some yeah. guys and to do that." What you do is you buy a little practice or, or get a little practice within that to join your network and see if you can help it grow, which is a lot, which is a very much more uncoordinated way of doing it. Okay. Um, and, and I'm assuming these hours are not normal, na that, you know, these hours in total add up to not normal hours. Yeah, 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 it's crazy, yeah. yeah. And I, I, am I right in thinking it's this that takes up most of the extra hours yeah. at weekends and evenings? Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah.